They bring the party to Austin FC games. The supporter band La Murga de Austin follows the team wherever they go. But a member of that band was assaulted while leaving a match in Houston last weekend. Now soccer fans are all coming together to pay for his medical bills and replace a trumpet that was stolen. KVU's Derenisha Heron spoke with one of the leaders of the band and she joins us now live from Q2 Stadium tonight. Hi Derenisha. Hi, Quita. I spoke with that band leader. His name is Mateo Clark, and he says that his friend did receive a concussion and some other injuries from that incident, but he is recovering. You know, when you think of this band, you think of all of the fun and excitement that they bring here to Q2 Stadium for the Austin FC games, and that is what they want people to always remember here and on those road games as well. He hopes that they can build a healthy rivalry with other teams with no violence. So today they did receive some more funds that, that they were excited about. And so after what happened on Saturday, like Marga Day Austin created a GoFundMe for the band member who was assaulted. He doesn't want to be identified, but from scrolling through that GoFundMe I was just talking about, it's clear he is supported. Now Houston Dynamo fans are pitching in on this recovery effort and some even commented on that and said that hate has no place in the game and condemned the violent behavior. Other Austin soccer fans also pitched in as well. It's not just something that exists inside the stadium, but it's something that bridges out into the community. Um, so we want people to, to see soccer as a platform for positive things, for building community, for building memories with you know, your family or your friends. Um, and then really, how do we take those experiences inside and outside the stadium? And to do just that, La Murga de Austin will be donating any extra funds to nonprofits to support music education for youth and pay music teachers in both Austin and Houston. They've already raised more than $8,000, which is close to their goal of $9,000. This is such a great way to change something that's negative into a positive. And for tomorrow's game here at Q2 Stadium, they said that they're going to be playing louder and stronger than ever, and hopefully, They'll have some new allies as well. Back to you guys in the studio. We hope so and hope for a quick recovery as well. KVU's Darren Heron live at Q2 Stadium for us tonight. Darren thank you very much for that report.